Now I'm going to show you guys how to install a processor and some memory. Before we in, um, I show you how to install the RAM and the processor, there's one key thing that you guys should need to know before you do anything like this. You should wear an anti-static wristband or even a sock. Why? Because if by any chance you touch the motherboard or one of the components and you shock it with a uh, static electricity, you can ruin the device. Now, um, let me go ahead and open up some, open up this package of RAM and show you how to install a stick of memory. <clears throat> always, if you if you only have one stick of RAM, you always should place it on the on, on the port closer to the CPU. If you have two sticks put in the second one and so on. Each RAM mo module has a notch. Sometimes they're right here in the middle, other times they're further up depending on the type of RAM you have. And that notch should f should match what's on the um, port right here. You just line it up with the port, place the RAM in the grooves and just push it down. The clamps on the port will clamp automatically. You will not have to close them <clears throat> if you put in, if you put the RAM in correctly. If you if you see that the ports aren't closing by themselves, chances are you are putting it in backwards. Now let's take the RAM out so I can show you guys how to install the CPU. <clears throat> we have here a an AMD processor, a Athlon 64X2. And let me show you right here. Uh, I think the light's maybe blinding it. That's okay. Um, if you see right here, you'll see four little spaces between the um, pins, and you'll also see a gold triangle right here at this corner. You have to line those spaces up, and that triangle with the bay right here. Simp to to get the CPU in, first you must lift the leather the lever that's right here pull it back. Look for the triangle here. Look for where it's at on your motherboard and place the chip in like that. If you put it in correctly, it'll drop right in. If for some reason you notice that it's not going all the way down, then chances are you didn't put it in correctly. Just lift it up, <clears throat> move it around, see if it falls in. After it's in correctly, you just push the lever down and it locks into place. Then you can install your heat sink. Now it's time to um, install the motherboard. Before you install the motherboard you must um, remove all the cabling that's in the way so that the motherboard isn't obstructed or anything. In this particular case there's a lot of cabling so I'll, I'll have to move everything back and out of the way. Also you must install these little brass motherboard risers. They're small, they're they're there to help you um screw the motherboard in and because you're not supposed to lay the motherboard flat on the case panel. As soon as I get these risers into place and the cabling moved out of the way, I'll come back to you guys and show you how to put the motherboard in. See I I already put the motherboard in the case. I was kind of anxious and forgot about you guys. Um, basically, as you can see, I moved all the cabling from inside the case, outside of the case, including the power supply unit's cable. On these cases, the power supply unit's on the bottom. I know a few people haven't seen that, but the Antec 900, you have it on the bottom. Once the cables are out of the way and you place the motherboard risers in their right place, you just simply insert the motherboard. You do have to make sure, however, that <clears throat> the the ports on the motherboard are are going out the correct holes on the I/O shield. Basically, all that's left to do is screw it in. And I doubt you guys want to see me screw screwing. Well, maybe some some of you guys want to see me screwing, but you know, um, once I screw it in and 
start to install the graphic card, I'll start recording again. I have the um, two video cards in now. They were easy to install, just snap them in. But as you can see, there's two video cards in. This is an SLI ready motherboard. Anyway, to get the SLI to work, you actually have to connect the two video cards. If you look right here, there's a port on each um, video card at the top in the same spot. Every motherboard that's SLI ready comes with um, something similar to this. This is called a SLI bridge. Basically, it bridges the two together. And all you do is place one on one, one end of it on one card and the other end on the other. And there you go. SLI is enabled. I, f I finally finished putting the PC together. Um, here's a quick look at the side. That's the window. Um, let's see if this bad boy turns on. Um, anyone, anyone want to do the honors? Anybody? I guess I have to do it. Oh, actually, in this case is pretty sweet. Uh, power buttons on the top. There's actually nothing on the front of the case. This is the Antec 900, by the way. Let's um turn it on. Oh, that's the power button. Firewire to USB audio. Everything which is connected. Reset switch. Okay, okay, okay. Let me turn it on. Cross your fingers. For awesome. Right now I'm installing Windows on the new computer. As you can see, I took the cable from the monitor from my computer and put it in this one. And I'm not sure you guys can see the, but can you guess what Windows that is? I bet Alpha Alien can.